Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here. We finally have some action headed towards the northeast. It's been so long since I've been able to say that, but the western blizzard will become the northeast snowstorm for 1216 and 1217. So that's where some of the best snow is going to be uh, in the early in the period. And then the pattern will come back towards the Pacific Northwest. I'll show you that coming up, but um, there's going to be a period where most of the west goes quiet. Um, after the western blizzard which is now moving away so we'll get into all that but let me just show you what this um, let me just go in here and show you what the pattern looks like right now so this is water vapor satellite um, the low mark there in the Dakotas is the blizzard now the two lows in the uh, the Pacific um, they're gonna meander for a while what they really need is a pickup because the second low the one that's further to the south is cut off from the main flow so it'll probably get picked up first by a trough diving down out of Canada and that'll bring it in and then it'll probably pick up the second low as well and bring that in. and I'll show you why that's gonna happen here in a second I wrote all about it um, my blog post uh, been a couple days since I got to this heads some other issues and so storm in the northeast and what's next for the west all that stuff is uh, has been addressed here I actually went through some of the totals I mean Alta Utah is reporting 50 inch storm total in the last four days really really something up there um, Winter Park, Aspen, Wolf Creek, I, I ran down those. Now, Buffalo Pass up in northern Colorado, I figured would do well. I was forecasting 22 inches, and they got 24. Um, and that's, that's about 1.6 inches of uh, snow water equivalent. So nice to see that uh, moisture up there in the northern mountains of Colorado. Um, the issue is there are a number of avalanche warnings in effect. Um, and, and ingredients are and not just the new snow, but there's winds of 30 to 70 consistently hammering that's happening right now. Um, and so there's there's two issues of persistent slab um, in the foundation, and then there's also the storm slab snow for all this. So you just take a look at that. Uh, we'll go into the pattern. Um, the jet for the west tomorrow, 1215, looks like this. So the western blizzard moving out of the uh, Dakotas, eventually it's going to get carried very fast by a powerful jet into the northeast. Before we get to that, look at the low meandering out in the uh, the Pacific there. Um, it's it, Notice the split jet, so it's kind of riding the southern branch. It's, it's waiting for a pickup on the northern branch, which it will get. Um, here is the 22nd. Notice the northern branch bending way to the north. Um, because it's very active out to the east. So the Great Lakes in the northeast would be getting the benefit of that. Whereas now it's, you can see the trough coming south starting to pick up that second low and that would help to move it in and kind of uh, merge with the southern branch. So that would be representing a more active pattern for the west. So there's a quiet period and then finally things pick up after the, the 19th into the 20th, 21, 22, 23 as it rings and picks up that, that low and then probably the second low as well and escorts it in. Now look what's happening out uh, to the northeast. This is impressive, right? So there's our, our Dakota blizzard moving through and being escorted into the northeast. And this is gonna be a pretty good snow, probably one to two footer for most of the, the big resorts in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Um, so that's the 16th, 16th and 17th. They're probably the prime days. 18th would be great skiing as well, um, if you wanted to get into that. Um, so let me go back and show you um, on the blog here, what I'm looking at as far as timing, we'll get into the Northeast numbers. Um, I'll take this full. So here's the future radar. By the time we get into the, the 15th, um, backwash, wraparound snows, light residual stuff for the interior, and then it's gone. Here's Saturday, quiet period for the West. Here comes 17 and 18. Um, here comes the Northern brand starting to pick up that meandering low, and the Pacific Northwest will be the place to be late in the period, starting on the 19th. So there's a quiet period and then things start to pick up in the Northeast. Let's go into those numbers for um, the Northeast. I've got those right here. Um, so again, one to two feet, Mount Snow picks up the uh, perfect wind direction. Look at Mount Washington, look at Sunday River and Sugarloaf. So you're gonna get initial surge and then you're gonna get wraparound in Maine. That's why the numbers are so much bigger there. But again, 16, 17, 18 would be the prime days um, in the Northeast. Now looking at the West, We'll do this in two phases, and so this is the 14th through the 16th, so all of today through the 16th, only residual light snows through most of the uh, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado district. A little bit more moderate up in the northern mountains of Colorado because you're still getting a little bit of that wraparound um, that's happening now with the uh, the Dakota blizzards. Uh, Dakota blizzards. So that that's just the initial period. Though look at the second period. 
So this is beyond the quiet period, the 17th through the 22nd. So once we get to 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, then everything changes. The northern branch drops down, picks up the two lows, and you get these types of numbers. I mean, look at the Pacific Northwest from Timberline to Stevens, down to Brundage and Schweitzer and Sun Valley. Look at California's back in on the action, and then all this moisture would then get blown into the interior. Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, all those numbers would continue to inflate. If I were to include 23, 24, those numbers would all be much bigger. All right, so uh, there you go, guys. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.